All right, that's the Tech Mahindra management. Uh, Anand Tandon is still with us. Anand, uh, weigh in on Tech Mahindra if you have a view. But my question really is uh, about the market itself. Uh, you know, it, do you think the, the, the mix is there for the market to push uh, significantly higher from here? Because we've, we've had uh, the previous two instances, the last time we were around these levels were in, was in September, uh, before that in April. You know, earlier in January uh, this year, we got uh, to, we, we kind of broke above these levels, but then came off sharply. Uh, is there enough in the mix uh, to propel the market higher, uh, back to all-time highs and beyond right now, as you see it? What's your sense? So, uh, on Tech Mahindra, quickly, it remains a play on margins, frankly. Uh, you know, it, uh, they have guided for margins higher than where they are right now, 11, 11 and half percent. And uh, if you actually get to that stage, then obviously earnings growth will continue to be driven upwards. Relatively, it is uh, less expensive than most of its peer group. They do have a lot of levers that they can push in terms of trying to increase margins, but somehow they haven't managed to do as much as uh, they have promised in the past. And that leaves a little bit of skepticism about their ability to execute. But that said, right now, uh, you know, the communications portfolio is doing quite well, and they seem to be in some sort of a sweet spot in terms of being able to continue to, uh, you know, create a, the right kind of pyramid structure within the company in terms of being able to offshore a little more and so on. So all the levers are in their, uh, are within their control. And therefore, you know, it could be a, 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 a com company that can actually live up to what they're trying to promise. On the market itself, uh, you know, I am still in the, uh, in the camp that it's a little difficult for the market to actually break out dramatically from here. You know, broadly, interest rate moving up means there is a cap on valuation. So valuations can't move. Now you have to look at earnings growth. If you look at the US market, for example, earnings have been remarkably good. I mean, in terms of uh, most of the corporates are not reporting the kind of pressure, which only means that the uh, cycle for interest rates have to continue to go up higher for longer. And while people kind of keep out trying to anticipate when it will stop, I think as an investor, it is little uh, prudent to let it ride rather than to assume that, uh, you know, after a couple of more quarters, they will have to suddenly stop because till they don't see a kind of uh, uh, a little more uh, ease in terms of the uh, job data coming in from the US, it's unlikely that the interest rate cycle will actually stop. And in that context, all of the emerging markets already also have the same problem. Uh, you know, we have to keep pushing our uh, uh, interest rate higher, otherwise you will have a further run on the currency. And uh, in spite of the fact that actually we've done remarkably well, uh, you know, compared to many of the other players, we have now reached a stage where most investors would still have profits on the table as far as India is concerned. So if they do have a kind of sellout anywhere else in the world, you will have to take some profits here. Uh, we, have, we have seen the FIS return in the recent terms, but overall, I don't think that uh, the kind of momentum that we're going to get, uh, let's say getting into January, may be uh, exceed very high. So for the moment, I would still remain, uh, you know, in, that the market would remain in a kind of trading range with this kind of level being the upper band. Uh, there is no question it can go up another 3, 4, 5 percent from here. But uh, broadly, I would think that, you know, as it goes up, you may want to ease off a bit and wait for a correction before you get in again. Okay. And I think this will keep coming up.